valve job. Valve job's actually the most important part of this entire thing. Get this messed up and you're screwed. Really, you're just never gonna get it back. So thankfully we've been doing this for 20 years and we have the right valve job for the head. You're probably wondering why I'm gonna do the valve job and then flow test it. Well, A, I like the data and B, you really need the valve job on the head because the CNC is gonna digitize it. And when you digitize it this way, when we go to cut them, it all blends in correctly and we don't have to worry about it. If you leave the stock valve job, it just won't blend in and you, people are doing it by hand, right? So nobody wants that. All right, so everybody thinks that they want a four angle or a five angle valve job. Well, the reality is that five angles are just more of like a radius and they don't really fit on the valve seat. Uh, so what we got here is a form cutter. Eventually we won't have one of these, but you can see all of the angles. Can you see that? It's a little hard to focus on it, but you see how like it has different angles on it. So it cuts all of the angles basically at the same time. And uh, these come in a variety of different angles and sizes and you just didn't need the right one. Now, all of ours are custom. So we order them per the cylinder head and we do a lot of flow testing to figure out what angles we need to get one of these. Next up, flow bench. All right, so we've seen some gains from the valve job and I just wanted to show you guys a little something. There's a reason why we don't share flow numbers and that's because if you're trying to compare it to somebody else, there might be an issue here. And the issue is that there's way, many ways of manipulating the flow. Now this is a stock size valve, stock valve, which we're actually gonna, we're gonna flow test it with a different valve too. That will pick up. But I'm gonna show you what just putting a pipe on the exhaust port does no other changes. So this is how they get you an advertising of flow number because they don't tell you if they use this or not. Watch. CFM better with doing nothing but putting a pipe on it. Is it fair advertising? It's for the buyer beware. So a lot of people think that you have to go oversized valve to get any kind of gain from your head. And the reality is that even a stock size valve just going to aftermarket is going to be a gain no matter what. And that's because the manufacturers are going to use a different margin, they're going to use a different back cut. The whole valve is going to change shape. And most of these guys are thinking about airflow when they're making these changes. So don't ever sleep on a stock size valve and just a stock replacement. All right, so now we're gonna do combustion chambers. Combustion chambers are so people can run more timing and that means less heat or less EGT and you can obviously make more power that way. You get rid of any of the hot spots that are in there. I don't care what fuel you're using, it's actually, Besides pump or E85, when you start to get to this level, um, it just helps it no matter what. Now, it's Sunday. We're trying to get ready for World Cup, and it's around the corner. I think I'm going to show you guys the car that this digitized head and, well, the first CNC head is going to go on. We're going to make like a little video of World Cup, and um, that's it. Let me show you how I do this. So the first thing you'll see is there's valves in it. You're thinking, oh, my gosh, he's going to ruin those valves. But actually, these valves are made specifically i make them so you can see here the edge is razor sharp these things get used a lot and these are tools to protect the valve seat and sometimes i even put bigger ones in the one next to it just in case you slip off and you hit there you're not going to hit a valve seat also notice this is what i'm talking about here i'm going to blend all this in back here there's a sharp edge right here 
and uh, we're just going to really blend it. Now, this particular combustion chamber just doesn't need a lot of surgery. It just needs some blending. All right, so this is the stock chamber, and this is what we're at now. It's ready for sanding. What you've seen so far is me taking the head games. Uh, I don't know if we're going to release this burr, but it is a 7 16 and it works really, really well for just fine grinding, but it takes a lot more material out than the 3 8 that we have. And uh, so that's why I was able to blend all that in. Obviously, we had the chamber valves in it. And this is what I was talking about, if you can see, see how it blended it right into the top cut of the valve job. And that is what you want. This way, there is nothing to stop the airflow on your lower numbers. And, uh, man, it just looks smashing to get it done, right? Oh, and you also saw me use the Head Games quarter inch burr in the corners here, just to blend all that in. Now you'll also notice that I left, so OEM, there is these little, um, see a little kick out right there? And I kind of left them here. I just blended the chamber into them. Uh, that's really good for valve deshrouding, which means airflow. So we're gonna do a 60 grit first. I can put a link to this cartridge roll and um, that's, here we go. disc now I modified the disc holder as you see back here usually they are the entire uh, circumference of the disc but I wanted it to be malleable and I do it to be malleable because I'm gonna get all inside here and it really it just takes away all of the bumps <laughs> done here now is the 3 8 by uh, inch I think or inch and a half by 120 grit now real realistically you you could leave the chamber just the way it is and they could digitize it I am um, I'm just something special and I can't leave it like that so we're gonna finish sanding <laughs> You've just finished your combustion chamber and now you have all of these marks here and one of these marks they are glue from when the cartridge roll is made and when you're going across here it just comes off so what we do is use some scotch bright and that stuff just disappears it's almost like a shamwow Here is our 
finished product. Check out how the seats are completely blended into the combustion chamber. You still have your top cut and your 45. Look at that, all blended in, all nicey nice. That's how you get it done. All right, now the chambers are done. This thing's ready to digitize. We're gonna flow test it and it's out of here. That's it for me today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I wanna hear everything you gotta say. Toodles.